welcome to the Mammoth Junction Fire Department's training video series. In a previous video, we reviewed the first Dew engine establishing their own water supply by performing a forward hoseway from a hydrant. In today's video, we will have our second Dew engine boost that water supply to the scene by connecting to the hydrant assist valve that's already been connected to the fire hydrant. Putting this engine on the hydrant is necessary for a couple of reasons. One, if we have a large fire that we need additional water supply to the scene, that engine can boost that pressure. Also, if we have a long hoseway, a long way of supply line up to the scene, we're losing pressure with the friction loss, again, we want to tie in that second engine to boost that supply to the scene. In our evolution previously, we had engine 204 perform that forward lay. That's what we have again today, 204 already hooked up to the hydrant. They laid in their supply line to the scene. Now we have engine 206 pulling up to the hydrant to boost that pressure. In looking at our fire hydrant, we have our two two and a half inch gate valves connected on the outlets on the side of the hydrant with the hydrant assist valve on the front steamer connection. We can see that the five inch supply line when 204 performed the forward lay, the supply line is connected on the front connection on the hydrant assist valve that's labeled to fire. We also put a label on there that says supply to the scene. If you look on the hydrant assist valve, there's two other connections that are both labeled as well. On the left side as we're facing the fire hydrant, it says two pump suction. We'll connect the five inch supply line to that connection on the hydrant, put it on an intake that's on our engine at the hydrant. On the other side of the hydrant assist valve, there's another connection that is labeled from pump discharge. We'll then take a five inch line off of a discharge on our engine and that'll pump into, into the hydrant assist valve to increase the pressure to the sink. Here, engine 206 has arrived at our hydrant. Our firefighters can remove one of the five inch pony lines from the hose tray and stretch it to the hydrant. They will connect that in to the connection labeled two pump suction on the hydrant assist valve. Our firefighter can then remove a cap on the steamer connection on the pump panel and connect the other end of our five inch hose into that connection. This line will supply water from the hydrant into the engine. Next, our firefighters can go to the other side of the engine and grab a second 5-inch pony line. One end of the hose line gets connected to the from pump discharge connection on our hydrant assist valve. The other end of the 5 inch line will get connected to the large diameter discharge on the officer side of the engine. This will allow us to pump into the hydrogen assist valve to boost our water supply to the scene. Now that both 5 inch lines are connected from the engine to the hydrant assist valve, one of the firefighters can rotate the handle on the valve 90 degrees which will charge the supply line into engine 206. When the pump operator on the attack engine at the scene is ready for additional water, they can radio to the engine at the hydrant and request the additional pressure. Pump operator at the hydrant can then open a discharge on the 5 inch line and pump into the hydrant assist valve. To recap our operation, engine 206 arrived at the hydrant and it connected two 5 inch pony lines to the hydrant assist valve. One line goes from the two pump suction connection on the hydrant assist valve to an intake on the pump panel. The other five inch line goes from the from pump discharge connection on the hydrant assist valve to the large diameter discharge on the officer side pump panel. We then rotated the handle on the hydrant assist valve 90 degrees to the boost position that's labeled on the hydrant assist valve, which sends a portion of the water from the hydrant to the scene and a portion to engine 206 at the hydrant. 
The pump operator at the hydrant can then charge the 5 inch line into the hydrant assist valve, overcoming the hydrant pressure and boosting the water supply to our fire scene. In the event that we need additional water supply, we can max out the water that we are taking from our hydrant. We have our two and a half inch gate valves on the discharges on the side of the hydrant. We can connect a two and a half inch or a three inch line on one side, put that into an intake on our engine and open our valve up. We're on the other side where we have our other two and a half inch gate valve. We attached a two and a half inch to a five inch storage adapter. We can then put a five inch line on that adapter and run that into an intake on our engine to get maximum water supply. In our training video today, we reviewed the use of an engine company to boost the water supply to a fire scene by having that engine connect to a hydrant assist valve to boost the pressure to the first two engines that perform the forward hose lay. We also reviewed the steps to maximize the water supply from a fire hydrant by connecting both a two and a half inch hose as well as a five inch line from the two and a half inch discharges on a hydrant. It's critical that the pump operators of both the engine at the scene, the attack engine, as well as the engine on the hydrant communicate back and forth to let them know if they need additional pressure and then how much pressure is available from that engine on the hydrant. In a future video in our series, we will cover the steps to perform a reverse hose lay. Thank you for watching.